My name is Patrick Murphy. I live in Boulder. In 28 days, we'll begin to find out if Boulder citizens have rejected the Muni folly and are ready to let real carbon reduction begin now, not six years from now. Our intentions were good, and still are, but our ability to critically evaluate the Muni honestly has proven to be a failure. The Muni naughty list documents that history of failure. If, and I hope when, the Muni is voted out, I'll closely monitor whether real carbon reduction, rather than a shadow Muni, is what occurs. Will we keep all the well-paid administrators, engineers, and staff that are not reducing one ounce of carbon, or will they be replaced with solar incentives, wind incentives, a renewable energy certificates broker, and energy use reduction efforts? I hope we can finally see the light, and that light comes from LEDs. My guess is that it'll take a year to pay off all the Muni debt especially since we borrowed $1.4 million from ourselves and need to pay that foolish loan back to ourselves. That $1.4 million could have replaced all the lights in every Boulder low-income household with LEDs, thus saving them money and reducing our carbon footprint. Maybe now we'll replace all our own street lights with LEDs, like every town around us already has. Maybe now we'll see that XL corporate hate, like most hate, is wasted energy. Maybe now we can see Boulder for what it is, a corporate monopoly, and relearn the art of self-critical evaluation. The Muni and its supporters have demonstrated they have at least temporarily lost that skill. Collaboration will bring progress in real carbon reduction and a positive example that can be shared rather than a cautionary tale. There are many things in 2020 that need to end. The Muni is only one.